Hello everyone, welcome to Olive Board. This is your mentor Mayank Dubey and I welcome you all to our PYQ series, right? And in this series, what we are discussing, we are discussing the previous year question of RBI Grade B and we are targeting our RBI Grade B 2023 exam. So here you are getting what the detailed explanation of previous year question so that you can have better idea about the pattern, what kind of questions are coming because day by day, the level, right, difficulty level of paper is getting increased. So you must have idea, you must know the approach to attempt those kind of questions. So this is the new initiative from uh, Olive Board. So do subscribe our new channel, which is for all the regulatory exam, especially. Okay. And if you haven't downloaded our app yet, then do download it. Okay. So let's start with our first question of today. Already we have discussed many important questions based on automatic quadratic equation data interpretation from previous year and today we are going to discuss previous year questions of number series. So our first question is identify the wrong number x in the series and answer the question that follows. So see here they are not asking generally if you will see okay if we will talk about banking exam or any other exam then number series based questions are coming like what okay they are asking find out the wrong number find out the missing number in this series like that but if we will talk about RBI grade B, so here the pattern is different. They are not only asking you the wrong number or missing number. They will ask you some extra detail means they are making your uh, question lengthier. That's it. There is no uh, <coughs> extra thing, right? No rocket science. You just have to follow what the basics and what are they asking. Just apply that. Okay. Now see, first question is what? Identify the wrong number uh, X in the series and answer the question that follow. 2, 3, 7, 22, 89, 45, 2, 6, 7, 7, 1, 8, 7, 4. This is the series. Now find the LCM of 25 and X minus 400. If X minus 400 is less than 0, then consider the absolute value of LCM. Okay, fine. So finding out this LCM because ultimately we have to find out what this LCM of 25 and X minus 400. So we must know the value of X and X is the wrong number in this series. So first of all, we have to find out the wrong number in this series. So if we will look out first 2, then 3, then 7, then 22. Then 89, then 445, then 2677, then 1874. So if you will, uh, okay, look out the this series carefully, then you will see it is an increasing order. So 223327, any multiple concept we can apply, multiplication based concept. So first we will uh, try to apply that logic. So 223, so two ones are 2 plus 1, 3, okay. Now three twos are 6 plus 1, so you are getting 7, okay? Now, wait. 7 threes are 21 plus 1, so you are getting what? 22. Now, 22 fours are 88 plus 1, you are getting 89, okay? Till here, we have applied what, uh, as per uh, our this logic, what kind of pattern is going on? We are just multiplying the consecutive numbers, right? Starting from 1, multiply 1, multiply 2, multiply 3, multiply 4. In the all steps right in forward step so after multiplication of those number we are adding one also means what multiply one plus one in next step multiply two plus one in next step multiply three plus one multiply four plus one no multiply five plus one must be there 39 multiply five would be what it would be 445 plus one means 446 but here you can see 445 is given. so so this might be right it is not confirmed yet that our pattern is exactly correct we are just applying and we have to check till the end. But it might be possible that this is the wrong number because as per our logic, there must be what 446 and instead of this 445. So we will apply right our logic. We will go with 446 and see whether it is applicable on next numbers or not. So 446 multiply 6 plus 1, right? This you have to follow here because multiply 5 plus 1 already done. Now see next number after 5 is 6. So 446 into 6, what you will get 2676. Plus one, yes, two six uh, seven seven. You can see, yes, it is coming now. When you will apply two six, when what two six seven seven multiply uh, what uh, seven plus one. So, what you will get one eight seven after multiplication of seven. You can even multiply here. See, I'm multiplying for you all seven sevens are 14 and nine, right? Four carry now seven sevens are 14 and and 4 how much 53 so 3 5 carry 7 6 are 42 and 5 7 will come then 4 carry 7 2s are 14 plus 4 so, so finally what you are getting 1 8 7 3 9 plus 1 so 1 8 7 4 0 yes the logic is working out and the right pattern in this series is completely what 
the pattern is multiply 1 plus 1 then multiply 2 plus 1 means the value which we are adding is constant the multiple value is changing only okay multiply 3 plus 1 multiply 4 plus 1 multiply 5 plus 1 multiply 6 plus 1 multiply 7 plus 1 so if they will ask you next number then multiply 8 plus 1 and so on okay so this is the logic which is uh, following here so we can say that the wrong number in the series is 445 okay now we are having the number that is 445 now what are they asking find the lcm of 25 and x minus 400 so 445 minus 400 means 45 so 45 and 25 the lcm of these two number would be what okay so what is the uh, largest number in these two 45 and 25 between these two so you will say 45 so just see in the table of 45 where 25 is divisible this is one logic which you can apply see uh okay 45 no not divisible 45 twos are uh, 119 not divisible 135 then next no 45 fours are 180 no 45 fives are 225 yes divisible yes 225 25 also divisible so 225 will be the lcm or you can apply a normal method also 45 25 which number is common you can take common from these two so it can be divisible with 5 right so what we can say 45 can be written 5 multiply 9 and 25 can be written 5 multiply 5 so 5 you can take common from here so 5 taken common now only you are having 9 and 5 so multiply 9 multiply 5 so 5 multiply 5 25 multiply 9 2 2 5 so this is the answer and available in option so i hope now you understood they are not asking you any rocket signs or something else they have given you the series first of all you have to find out the wrong number in the series then you have to solve accordingly they are not asking the wrong number in the series they are asking some extra detail they have given us some right uh, extra detail as for that we have to find out the answer but for that particular thing that particular uh, solution we must need to solve what this series okay so that kind of questions are coming in what rbi grade b paper okay so next question uh, let's move on to the next next is there is a wrong number in the series again wrong number based question is here 229256324361 so this is the complete series which is given there is a wrong number in the series now p is the correct number in the place of wrong term okay whatever the wrong term in this series p will replace that term identify the correct statement from the statement given below okay first statement is p is divisible by 15 okay this is the first statement wait this is the first statement second one p plus 4 is prime and your options are both are correct both are incorrect first is correct second is incorrect so it is based on what now you have to verify the data right statements whether these statements are correct or not as per the given series so they are asking you some more right they have given us some more detail and as per that they are asking something extra as i told you so first of all we need to solve what this wrong number series first of all we need to find out that wrong number because they are uh, we have to use what the correct term p is the correct number in the place of wrong term okay wrong term so p is the correct number so first of all we have to find out that wrong number why because then only we can verify these statement it is based on what the value of p p is divisible by 15 p plus 4 is prime so first of all what is the value of p so now see 229 uh, 256323661 it is completely in increasing order and multiplication means okay it is not in multiple form as you can see the difference is not getting huge okay 256 so first difference is what first two number difference is 27 229 to 256 now 256 to 320 the difference is 64 okay plus 64 now 320 to 443 the difference is uh, 123 yes yes now next difference is what uh, next number is 661 and here the difference is 218 okay so if you will look out these differences so by these differences can you solve the wrong number can you get that so see uh, 27 is the perfect cube of 3 64 is the perfect cube of 4 so plus 3 cube plus 4 cube so next must be what plus 5 cube but here you can see here 123 is given which is not the cube of 5 the cube of 5 is 125 clear okay the after 5 cube if we will apply this procedure till the end so it might be possible that 443 is the wrong number because after adding 123 only we are getting this number so this might be wrong okay so we will get the answer by checking uh, till the end okay checking the pattern till the end so 6 cube so okay we are just applying 125 if we will add 320 plus 125 then which number will come instead of 443 so you will say 445 now 445 to 661 what is the difference 216 which is the cube of 6 so 3 cube, 4 cube, 5 cube, 6 cube. 
plus 3 cube plus 4 cube plus 5 cube plus 6 cube pattern is working out here so that is why we can easily say that the wrong number in the series is 4 4 3 okay so the best approach is to apply right just need to find out where you can find out the error due to what number right if you will see from uh, okay uh, i'm explaining you the right approach 229 to 256 first to second number when we are moving we are adding 27 which is the cube of 3 so here okay fine uh, following the pattern 4 cube so we are getting 320 so till 320 there is a no no wrong number 229 256 320 as per our pattern all uh, right these three are correct now next 5 cube and instead of 5 cube we are adding 123 so here the error is coming so the next number must be wrong okay 443 it might be wrong so if it is wrong then what number should replace it 445 so when we put 445 see now the difference is balancing 320 to 445 125 cube of 5 now 445 to 661 the difference is how much 216 uh, cube of 6 because 443 to 661 the difference was 218 which is also not the cube of 6 so in these two differences which number was common 443 and it is the wrong number okay so right number correct number is what 445 so the value of p is 445 here now what we need to verify we need to verify which statement is correct so first one is p is divisible by 4, 15 so 445 is the value of p so is this is it divisible divisible by 15 so just check 15 twos are 30 then uh, 1 4 is the remainder now 15 nines are 135 so 10 is the remainder no it is not divisible by 15 now see second p plus 4 is prime p plus 4 so 445 plus 4 you are getting 449 yes 449 is a prime number so you must have idea about prime number composite number so you can easily decide it yes 449 is one of the prime number because it is divisible by only one and only 449 okay these two numbers it can be divisible so that is why it is a prime number so what we can say only statement one is correct both are incorrect okay one correct and second is incorrect option third will be the correct answer i hope you are getting it well let's move on to the next one now next number series is there are two missing number series now it is based on missing number series there are two series given series one and series two series one is 15 17 11 23 p 33 so here p is missing that we need to uh, find out this is the missing term because this is given in term, terms of what alphabet second series two 400 q 300 750 2625 1181.5 so here q is the missing term in this second series now what are they asking if r is a composite number such that 14 is less than r and 18 is greater than r so r is what r is less than 18 and greater than 14 that is what the range of r the value of r will be between 14 to 18 means what are the possible values 15 16 and 17 these three value will fulfill our condition or not yes we'll follow the condition okay now any number the value of r can be right 15 16 17 any one of these okay now see then what can be the possible value of p plus r from the below mentioned numbers okay p plus r so p is given in the first series okay p plus r so 18 uh, then 19 then 20 so R, the possible values of R we know that uh, the possible values are 15, 16, and 17. That we know. Okay. That we completely know. But one thing is uh, there that R is a composite number. So if R is a composite number, then we have to remove this 17. The value of R cannot be 17. We have to keep this thing in mind. We have, okay, uh, just think about what 15, 16, 17. This kind of error you can make in exam that. Okay, 14 to 18, so the possible values of R are 15, 16, and 17 all. But see, they are saying what? R is a composite number. 17 is a prime number, so it cannot be R. 15 and 16 are the composite number, so it can be what? It are the uh, These are the possible values of R. Fine. Now, P also we need to find out. Because 15, 16 are two possible values. Okay, so that we can take in place of R. But what is the value of P? So first series, 15, then 17 then 11 then 23 then p then 33 so 15 to 17 the gap is what uh, it is an increasing order plus 2 then 17 to 11 minus 6 then 11 to 23 plus 12 then 23 to p okay not we don't have any idea and p to 33 so as we can see uh, the series is completely not in increasing order either not in increasing order nor in 
right neither in increasing order nor in decreasing order completely see first to second number if you will see increasing order than decreasing then increasing then decreasing must be there so p must be less than 23 that we know actually so 2 6 and 12 plus 2 then minus 6 then plus 12 so plus minus plus so these are the mathematical operation which we are applying on the alternate basis addition then subtraction then addition but see the values only 2 6 and 12 so if you will see the difference between these two 2 to 6 plus 4 just see the values only not uh, what operation we are following here plus 2 minus 6 so just forget about this plus and minus just think about these numbers only 2 6 and 12 okay now uh, addition subtraction we know it is based on what alternate basis so 2 6 12 so 2 to 6 plus 4 6 to 12 plus 6 so next mode uh, must be what so see 2 to 4 2 plus 4 6 so next uh, even even number is what after 4 consecutive even number after 4 so you will say 6 so 6 plus 6 12 now after 6 which even number will come plus 8 so 12 plus 8 20 will come fine right so next difference can be what 20 and after this the difference must be what as per the logic which we are trying to apply which we are trying to apply so plus 8 so next must be plus 10 so 20 plus 10 means 30 so two difference okay here what, what unknown wait see uh, here so 23 minus what because see plus then minus then plus so next would be minus but minus what minus 8 okay not here sorry uh, next must be what already we have applied uh, 12 plus 8 20 sorry 20 this 20 we need to take here okay so minus 20 because already see plus 2 minus 6 plus 12 so minus 20 right and after this next difference must be what plus 30 right 30 but plus 30 as you know 2 6 12 then plus 8 so 20 comes we are talking about the first difference okay 2 6 12 these are the differences three differences which we know the unknown differences between 23 to p p to 33 that we don't know but after applying this logic plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 we got 20 and 30 these are the next two differences so 23 minus 20 you will get 3 which can be the value of p now 3 plus 30 33 you are getting yes so this logic is actually working out so the value of p must be what 3 now the possible values of uh, p plus r are what what can be the possible values of p plus r from the below mentioned numbers so p the value of p is what 3 plus there are two possible values of r 15 and 16 so if we will put 15 so we will get what 18 here now if we will put what uh, 16 then we will put uh, we will get what 19 here clear 3 plus 16 19 so 18 and 19 these are the two possible values 20 also given and this right this uh, error we can make in the exam if we are not aware about this point also so read each and every information carefully compose it in number otherwise what happened you can even take this value 17 also 17 plus 3 20 also we are getting means all are the possible value no 17 cannot be the value of r because 17 is a prime number so 18 and 19 two values only first and second so our answer must be what option 2 only first and second are hope you are getting it well right clear okay so let's move on to the next uh okay uh we haven't talked about second series because there is no use of second series they have not asked us anything about second series but they, uh, but there is another question based on this same series this same series what i'm saying this same series so there we will use what we will solve the second series already we know first series solution the value of p is 3 that we have solved previously now second series because what are they asking find the value of q minus 2 divided by p multiply q so the value of p that we know that is 3 the value of q we know no that we don't know the value of q we don't know that we need to find out by the uh, help of what series second 400 q so we need to find out the pattern which is going on in the second series so see 400 Q, 300, 750, 2625, 118, 12.5. So here, first to second, second to third, you cannot apply anything because second number is unknown. But you can start the question from third number itself, third to fourth. So 300 to 750, the difference is huge. 
so you can go for multiple uh, uh, values right or multiple logic it can be based on what multiplication logic so 300 to 750 so 750 by 300 so how many three twos are uh, 300 twos are 600 then 150 so 2.5 times so by multiplying 2.5 only we will get 750 so 300 multiply 2.5 you are getting 750 now 750 to 2625 so 2625 by 750 so 750 threes are uh, 2250 okay then 375 also so which is the half so 3.5 times so 750 multiply 3.5 you are getting 265 so what you can see here the multiplication right multiplication value is getting what increase by what plus one okay 2.5 plus 1 so next number is what 3.5 after 2.5 which we are applying here so before 2.5 right this we are just assuming because we have not solved till the end so we are not uh, exactly sure about the pattern so first of all make sure that your logic is working out then only follow okay see so it is 2.5 then 3.5 then after this there must be what 4.5 262 uh, multiply 4.5 and before 2.5 there must be what 2.5 minus 1 means 1.5 Q multiply 1.5 equal to 300 and before Q from 400 so 1.5 minus 1 means multiply 0.5 so the logic in the series is 0.5 then 1.5 we are multiplying what the number in gap of what plus 1 so first 0.5 then next 0.5 plus 1 means 1.5 multiplying 1.5 then uh, 1.5 plus 1 2.5 so we are multiplying 2.5 then 3.5 then 4.5 but we have to verify till the end so that's why I am telling you do not decide your answer until you have solved each and everything very well, right? After verification only, you have to decide. So see, 2625 multiply 4. So 26, uh, 2600 multiply 4 will be what? 10,400. Now 25 into 4, so 100 uh, means 10,500 is the 4 times of that. Now, uh, you need to add extra what? Uh, 2625. Already we have multiply 4, so 0. 0.5 means half of 2625, that is 13 12.5 so when you will add yes we are getting 118 12.5 so this logic is working out exactly and here you can also check 400 multiply 0. 0.5 means half of 400 that is 200 now 200 so the value of q is what 200 that is sure right completely we are sure about it now 200 multiply 1.5 when you will do so 200 ones are 200 and half of 200 is 100 so 300 yeah so the value of q is 200 and the logic here is what multiply first number first to second number right you are multiplying the first number with 0. 0.5 so you are getting second now multiply second with what uh, plus one from the previous one so 0. 0.5 plus one 1.5 you will get so 200 multiply 1.5 then next 300 multiply 2.5 then next 750 multiply 3.5 then next 2625 multiply 4.5 why i am explaining you in detail so that you will have idea how you have to analyze the equation and when the middle term is missing from where you have to start the question so from here only we started the question okay uh, to find out the value already we know the value of p and q now so just put that now see the value of q is how much 200 so 200 minus 2 and divided by what p the value of p already we solved that is 3 in our previous question now multiply 5 so 2 0 uh, 2 double 0 minus 2 means 198 upon 3 so it will be what 198 by 3 multiply 5 so 66 times you can cancel 3 6 are 18 then 1 so 3 6 are 18 so 66 66 into 5 330 how much you are getting 330 so the value of q minus 2 divide p multiply 5 is 340 so in today's session we have discussed many important types of what number series from our previous year and i hope you got the approach how you have to go through that just need to okay clarify what are they asking and as per that only you have to make the solution so I hope you understood it very well. We'll see you next session. Till then, keep learning and keep shining with all reports. Thank you.